What's up, everybody? All is one, all is well. Your boy Nate Biggs back with another one. You already know. So anyway, we're going to talk about forgiveness. That's like one of the hardest things to do, especially if you feel like you've been wrong, is to forgive, right? So I just want to reference everybody to something, a passage that everybody is familiar with, right? And it's the Lord's Prayer in Christianity. The Lord's Prayer, you know, it has a statement in there that says, Forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, right? And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So go back and peep those words that's in that whole prayer. But in particular, that part that I just said, right? To forgive somebody because you also want to be forgiven. That's the key to our whole, you know what I'm saying, survival of equality on this planet to bring justice right now. Through the laws of my eye, which is love, peace, truth, freedom, and justice, which gives you balance of equality. The only way to really get that is to know that we all are not perfect, that we all have faults, that we all at times may wrong per persons out there, and we also feel wrong as well. So we have to know that, you know what I'm saying, we get what we give. And so if we give forgiveness, that means we will be forgiven, right? It takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage to forgive somebody. Because, you know, at times our minds, you know, and, and that's the ego complex of our, you know what I'm saying, reptilian brain, uh, the animal instinct survival, which is fight or flight. You know what I'm saying? So you're always going to feel like, you know what I'm saying, you got to preserve your right to exist. You know what I'm saying? And so if you feel wrong by somebody, you feel like you have to get back even. Yeah, that is a cosmic law, the law of karma. But in reality, those laws and principles are going to be what they are regardless. So you don't necessarily have to force those laws. Now nah, you can observe them and understand that what goes around comes around. So yeah, for those people that wrong you out there and you don't know when it happens, you become justifiable in the aspect of the spirit to get everything back in equilibrium with you. So you'll get something out of it. Yeah, you feel wrong right now, but guess what? Good things will manifest and that balance will happen where you'll get a good, you know what I mean, vibe from certain things. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, it's a pendulum that swings back and forth. Sometimes you up, next time you down. But you're not going to always stay down. You're going to go back up again. And forgiveness is one of those keys in all, always moving forward to stay going up. Because what happens is, if you don't forgive, you hold that stuff in your heart. And that stuff in your heart could be a negative, you know what I'm saying, tune to you. It will never let you move forward. Because most of the times, you're always replaying things in your head. And those things that you're replaying, you know, they already occurred. There's nothing you can do to change them. All you can really do is just focus on the future. And forgiveness is focusing on the future. You know what I'm saying? It's thinking about, you know what I'm saying? What are the better outcomes that are that are going to happen in the future? The better outcomes is this. You learn from your mistakes. Right? And that's experience. Experience is learning from your mistakes. And forgiveness gives you that ability to just claim experience that you now know better. Right? So now you're going to do better. Right? Because not knowing is ignorance. And not forgiving is ignorance. Because at the end of the day, you holding on to something. That person that you're not forgiving, that person not even thinking about. So you just the one who's stuck. You know what I mean? Thinking about things that you can no longer change. And, uh, you know, affecting someone else. And even if you do get back, at the end of the day, what did you really accomplish? You know? At the end of the day, it just builds up more negative energy and karma. So the right outlook is just to always move forward and watch what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch what you're doing so, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the day, people could forgive you and see that you have humility and you have caution and care for yourself. And when you do that, and that shows and proves that you have caution and care for others. That's the equality about our whole situation. So controlling our ego through forgiving ourselves first. Then you forgive others, right? Because you got to understand your emotions is what you have to forgive yourself for. Your emotions, all our emotions, they move us. They move us to act or not act, you know? Depending upon how we feel determines what we're going to do in reality, how we're going to respond to certain things in reality. So most importantly is controlling our ego, but most importantly is forgiveness. We have to forgive. Forgiveness is everything that life is about, right? We forgive the negatives so we can attain the positives. Hard to do. But we must stay in tune to do it. So it's a work in progress. We are all work in progress. We are all, uh, <clears throat> we're all caterpillars in a cocoon 
that are trying to become butterflies in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, we to get to that butterfly effect of changing our reality to be a better version of ourselves, we have to learn all the principles. And that first principle to learn is the forgiving principle, right? And in martial arts, I like to, you know, always, you know, <clears throat> do a connection between martial arts and the way that these principles of emotions are as well. When you're uh, <clears throat> engaged in battle with somebody, especially in jujitsu, it's known as the adaptive gentle way, right? You don't necessarily go on the offense. What you do is on the defense, you try and prevent them and preserve your peace in your state by controlling them and letting them know that you forgive them for what they do based on that control that you exert. That yes, you have the ability to, you know what I mean, put them in harm's way, but you hold back to just control it and to prevent. And that is a form of forgiving or giving way principle. So forgiveness is the giving way principle. The not sweating the small things and not focusing on the big things, but letting them things go and changing those things to a better outcome. And that's what we're going to do out here. You know, each one teach one is about forgiving ourselves for the things that we didn't know to now know to do better. And then that way we have a better outlook and a better quality of life. That's all we're about. You know what I'm saying? All my peoples out there, Forgive yourself and forgive others. Hard to do, but we all in this together. All right? And you, like I said, the Lord's Prayer gives you all the keys. Go back and listen to it. Right? Forgive us for our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. You know what I'm saying? So everybody out there is always a pleasure. Uh, I'll catch you on the next ride. All is one. All is well. Peace.